Hi everyone, it's Isabella Brave. So I've been getting a lot of questions about pain and suffering, and not not everyday bravery kind of pain and suffering, but but real pain and real suffering. And what can we do about it? And why does it happen? And this has been weighing on my heart a lot. And the truth is, all of us have pain and all of us suffer a great deal. I have a theory that some people suffer in the beginning of their lives more and some at the end more and some all the way through. I'm hoping mine is one where I suffered mainly in the beginning, but I'll let you know when it's all over which one it was. The truth is I don't think anyone really knows. But if we look back on our lives, most of us can see how suffering has done good for us and made things better. It is a man that no one has listened to that learns how to speak with a power. It is a man who was never loved, who learns the importance of caring about another person. It is the man who has had very little that learns the great value of things and to never take anything for granted. All of these great qualities like good character and integrity and thankfulness. They don't come like the weather or you're not born with them. They come from suffering and they come from pain. And these can be great gifts to other people, especially when they're going through pain. The bottom line for me is, well, first maybe I should tell you a story. Remember, I had Shredder and Champion spayed not too long ago. And of course they hated it. And I had to give them this pain medication in a syringe, you know, without the needle, just a little syringe, and I'd put it in their mouth and squeeze it. And, and it would make their pain go away. Well, Shredder hated that thing. And it was really difficult to, to get that thing in her mouth and to get her to take it. And she'd struggle and she'd cry. And it, it made her suffer. And I felt awful. I felt awful giving it to her. But it was something to take the pain away and make her feel good. There's no way that she could have been or will ever know why I was causing her to suffer like that. And you know, she still loves me. She's still my shredder. She still comes and sleeps with me and wants me to pet her. I don't know whether she remembers me giving her that medicine and that uncomfortable time or not. But I believe in a God who, whether we understand it now or ever will, does the thing for us which is the best thing for us. Out of love, even if it's painful. And I think that's the truth. So if you're in a great pain and if you're suffering, Remember that this is in the middle and that you're on your way someplace and it's beneficial to you. And even better than that, it might be beneficial to others. So that's what I have to say about that tonight. I know it's short. I hope it's sweet. And I'll see you next time. So, good night.